So good evening everyone and welcome to um, the Elite Seller and also the 100K Hustle webinar where we are presenting to you a absolute masterclass in copywriting. We have a, my very close friend and absolute legend in the copywriting space, we've got Dana Derricks on tonight. Dana is actually, uh, if you want to hire Dana, you're looking at $10,000 per product. Anybody want to hire him? Didn't think so, but you do have access to all of his absolute golden information, uh, everything that he, all the tricks that he uses to convert is actually going to be presented to you tonight and we've got a massive treat at the end of the webinar as well um, from him to myself, which I'm then passing over to every single person courtesy of Susan also. And Susan is on the line from China. Our bandwidth is, is a little bit temperamental, but we will try and get her uh, to see if she's uh, if she's on and stable. <laughs> or are your bandwidth stable? Not that Susan's stable. Of course Susan's stable. Um, so anyway, we've got uh, Shiley developing huge loud and clear Trish from Glasgow, we've got Trish Millen, um, we've got Josh Santana, Loud and Clear Irene from Sydney, Irene Sinaikis, the lovely Irene, and uh, we've got Irene T, another Irene there, um, we've got Ready and Waiting Lee Morrison from Glasgow, Scotland, Edinburgh, Eva, I'm not even going to try and say your second name, Eva, Eva that's just not happening, Stuart, uh, Stuart Millen as well, also, we've got the Fripster in from the United States, we've got, so everybody's starting to pile in now, the webinar's starting to fill up, um, so before we go any further, I want to say, to say a quick hello and a, a massive thank you for Dana Derricks who's joined us tonight. Dana, can you hear me loud and clear? I can hear you, brother. Nice, nice. So um, there goes the uh, no technical gremlins so far, which is good. <laughs> um, but thanks very much for joining me, dude. Now I hear that you are uh, spending some time with a good friend, Russell Brunson. Uh, I know that you you're doing a whole ton of stuff for uh, some Amazon sellers. But tell us a little bit of a milestone of the Amazon seller, what type of sales he was experiencing, and where you took him to um, in terms of you put your copyright together and, and the importance of good copy for conversion. So this is what we're going to be focusing on tonight. But I want to let you uh, give all the listeners and, and all the members a chance to listen in and, and find out a little bit about your background. Awesome. Well, first of all, thank you, Michael, for having me. Super big honor. Um, I'm happy to share with your audience, uh, some of this stuff, this amazing, amazing stuff. Um, so first of all, uh, I just to give you a little bit of perspective about, about me, um, I'm kind of uh, what you would call a, an old veteran in this game because I've been around Amazon full-time since 2011. I've seen everything. And uh, one of the cool things that got me into this business, uh, I didn't go through a course or anything like that. I kind of went through, um, did it the hard way and I was kind of working in the trenches with sellers and I ran across this guy named Mike who was in the supplement space and he was doing pretty darn good. He was doing like 50000 a month and then I helped him out, make a few tweaks to his listings, get him optimized and then we ended up doing, within 60 days we went up to $3 million a month and the guy literally at the age of 31 retired to an island in Hawaii and I haven't heard from him in like three years. So... <laughs> To each their own. <laughs> yeah, I mean, that's cool, right? So for him. Um, but then a little bit about me, like, um, unlike most of the people, um, I know, like, like Michael and Susan are the real deal. That's why I'm here. But so, as we all know, as sellers, as a fellow seller, a lot of the people teaching how to do this aren't really doing it. So just so you know something about me, um, this month, um, April, we, my partners and I are on pace to do $900,000 on Amazon, on one of our accounts. That's not this year, that's this month. So I know some of you are, are doing dang good, but just know like I'm not one of those guys that goes around preaching and doesn't do, so I'm right up there with you. So hopefully that helps lend a little credibility and uh, I'm excited to share some of this stuff with you guys. Yeah, and Dennis got an absolute killer presentation that you guys are going to be all sitting front row to. Um, but Dana, this is one of the things about this particular space as well. And, and we all know that you're a copywriting professor. That That's obviously who you are. That's what you do. Um, but for me, uh, there's a massive uh, a massive hole. There's, there's holes all over in, in, in the Amazon space. And it's like there, there's these sellers who are start office sellers, rather they set a course, they get a really good month because they've maybe hit a product and struck gold with a product really or um, mm -hmm. hot a seed right at the right time with a particular product and then what happens is is they get a good few months and then all of a sudden 
uh, they want to take the stage and take the microphone and tell it how, tell it how it's done. It's really not, not that simple. And these webinars that myself and Susan have put together in terms of a live teaching process is off the back of really uh, to get rid of the modular type teaching because things are happening and changing so fast as you'll know. Also, then, one of the things in this particular niche or in this particular space, in the Amazon space, is I'm absolutely sick of um, you know what I call the six month legends where they get a, a home run on a product and boom they've got their own course coming out and you do not have a business and you, you guys are going to hear this from my investors and from the people who are acquiring and are lined up to acquire the brand partners products in the next 24 months that we are starting literally this month in terms of the new brand partner products coming to market um, but you guys are going to be coming on and they're going to tell you flat out that you do not have a business if you're just on Amazon and how you can actually um, multiple your, your, your X on your exit rather, uh, or multiple your X's on your exit um, if you have a database. Now, um, I'm going to pose a few questions to them and you're going to be front row on that, but for tonight, this is all about copywriting and I have to say, you know, I love, I love your, your emails, I love your marketing messages, I love your long forms, I love pretty much um, all of the content that you've put together and the way that you write it, the way that you grab the, the quick snappy conversion um, the personality that you put into your copywriting and I know that you're going to show everybody that but one thing I just want to touch on before we dive into the presentation and that is getting across that there's a distinct difference from sales copy and conversion copy. I mean, in terms of uh, writing writing a listing for it to convert on, on an e-commerce environment, uh, together with writing, uh, let's say, for example, a retention sequence to get your customer to opt in, it's really, what What do you think are the differences between that, Dana, and is, it, and is that what a lot of um, Amazon sellers are not really quite hitting it out of the park? Is that what they're lacking? Yeah, that's a fantastic point. So Amazon is its own animal. And um, so I will say this, like any given copywriter or anybody trying to write copy for Amazon has to be written for Amazon. Like there's nowhere else like it on the planet and what works off of Amazon doesn't work on Amazon and vice versa. So if, if, if a person doesn't understand that and they try to write copy for Amazon, uh, it's, it's not going to work. Um, and I'm going to show you all that and explain kind of all that um, in a second. But that's a fantastic differentiation to understand. Like, um, just because something works off of Amazon does not mean it will work on and vice versa because they're two different, completely different animals. Yeah, one hundred percent. And and it's something that I've seen with the with, with working closely with marketers of all levels is they miss the importance of understanding the difference between copy that you put together in an email together with conversion copy that you're writing for a call to action on a web page or even in Amazon. Again, like you say, if you're writing copy to index on Google, com com complete different weight of keywords scattered throughout that copy, title, body, um, and text, and, and, and obviously footers and all this all sort of, sort of stuff. But also the same same applies for inside Amazon. You're writing your copy, and this is the, 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 the actual the students have went through an entire keyword mastery. Um, again, they had another keyword mastery class with myself prior to this, and we have seen how to open up the source code of Amazon and look into uh, through the seed keyword and start to identify in the pages where that was positioned and how Amazon looks at the pages. So uh, really interesting topic. This stuff fascinates me. I, I get quite geeky when it comes to the likes of copywriting and that. And, and you guys are getting a real treat because you've got one of the best in the business right now who is going to take you through his own presentation, who writes amazing copy. And actually, if you just look at his website, you'll be able to see um, how easily you would literally just opt in within a couple of lines of reading. Um, but if you're not, if you don't opt in at the top, you're certainly going to opt in uh, the minute you, you start to scroll down the long form. But Dana, I'm going to pass it over to you. Again, thanks for joining us tonight. Massive appreciation, mate, from myself and Susan. And um, I'm just going to let you take the, uh, the presentation and, and dive straight in here because everybody's super keen to see what you've got to offer. So um, Susan, are you there? I am most definitely here. <laughs> and you're coming across loud and clear from China as well. What time is it in China right now? You hardcore diehard you. <laughs> um, well, actually, I'm technically in Hong Kong, and it right. is 5.04 a.m. Uh, <laughs> the show this morning, I think uh, I'm planning on meeting Kevin for breakfast somewhere around 7.30. 
uh, and then we're going to head across uh, head across town to to do more sourcing. So awesome. this is it's it's a it's a massive uh, massive undertaking. I mean, we're doing I don't know four shows or something in two weeks, but uh, it's cool. Hopefully, finding lots of products that we need listings for to write copy for. So I'm going to be paying attention. To, uh, you are the Dion of the Amazon space, Susan. Four shows in like two weeks. I mean, that's so. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so we're uh, we're we're. I tell you, we're definitely winning, though. We're finding we're finding great great stuff. This has been uh, this has been a super trip. Yeah, it's brilliant. It's good to follow the journey, Susan. Can you pass the presentation over to Dana, please? Um, and let's I definitely let's can. Hold on a second. Make presenter. Are you sure? Yes, I'm sure. I want to make Dana Derricks the presenter. <laughs> All right. <laughs> okay. Yep. We have it. <laughs> awesome. Are we good? Yep. See you. Nice and clear. Cool. By the way, Susan, that's amazing that you got up at the crack of dawn or stayed up all night, one or the other. <laughs> yeah, no, this is this is this. Well, it really it's because it's jet lag. There's no uh, no credit involved here, Dana. Oh shoot! I You're thought it was because you were. Leave when I'm over here. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. Hey, hey, Susan, pretend to be hustling. <laughs> yep, always be hustling. Yes, amen. All right, so I gotta invite both of you, Michael and Susan, at any time. Please interject, yell at me, tell me to stop, slow down, clarify something, or just you know crack a joke, whatever you want to do. Because um, okay. ultimately, this should be fun for everybody and like entertaining and exciting, and that's what it's all about. So. Um, and also say, uh, I'm going to try to get through this as quick as possible. So I hope that this is recorded and they can maybe watch it later because I'm going to be yeah, blown through it. That. Remember to hit the record button. Yes. Sweet. <laughs> and yeah. All right. So uh, real quick, um, I'm going to be presenting on um, essentially, oh, i got to explain. I'm a goat farmer, by the way. Um, so. Did you say an adult farmer or was that a goat farmer? Oh, yeah. So I, I got goats at my farm. So I'm going to be explaining some of that in a second, and I'm going to show you how to how I utilize my goats in my Amazon business and, and stuff like that. So anyway, but let's get to the good stuff first. So I'm going to show you how to quietly dominate on Amazon without any crazy software or anything anything dumb. And my goal is this, to get you to understand that in order to turn your Amazon business into the you know, six, seven, eight-figure business that you want it to be, I'm telling you that the best, fastest, cheapest, easiest way to do that is by setting up your listings the right way. I'm going to go in depth on that and show you some live examples of listings that are doing just that. They're pumping out millions of dollars in sales. And I'm going to show you exactly how and why they are. And this is stuff you won't see anywhere else. Right? So there's some important concepts to note. Um, first of all, the only way for you to truly exponentially grow your Amazon business is through setting up your listings the right way. I think we all know that. Um, but the only way to have them set up the right way um, is by listening to the right people with the right information. And that's going to be my theme because that is the key. Uh, or you can be like me and, and be dumb and spend 16,000-ish hours and try to figure it out, but you don't have to do that. And then if you say to the end, I know um, these guys have some awesome stuff for you, right? Yep. Yes. Okay. <laughs> we'll just leave it at that. All right. So, um, <laughs> uh, all right. And then I got to tell you that this is different because it's not stuff that's like washed up you can find online. I didn't come through a program. Like I said, I discovered all this by working closely with now probably over a thousand Amazon sellers in my career. Plus, I have my own very successful Amazon businesses, unlike most of the people out there trying to, you know, like Michael was saying, they hit their one hit wonders and then all of a sudden, you know, they have 10 courses and all this crazy stuff. Um, and, okay, so real quick, that's me in my goofy blue hat. Um, I'm the number one Amazon optimization expert on planet Earth, apparently. Um, but I have worked with some of the biggest millionaire, multimillionaire sellers. Um, like I said, uh, partner and I are um, doing crazy stuff. Um, one business that I'm going to talk about tonight that um, doesn't make the most money of all my businesses, but the one that I'm most proud of is the one you see there where I got to hire my entire family. And, um, yeah, so let's do it. Um, I've done a lot of things right, but obviously, and I've done a lot of things wrong. Um, so after four years, what I have, five now, what I have discovered, and many of you probably know this, is you don't have to be super bright or lucky to have success. I've had seen a lot of people that weren't bright or lucky 
have a lot of success on Amazon. Um, also, I've seen that the way to optimize your listing comes down to common sense, but unfortunately, common sense isn't always common. And the cool thing is that like almost every single Amazon seller does it wrong, which is a wide open opportunity for us. And it took me five years and literally tens of thousands of dollars to discover this, and I did it the hard way, but you get to do save all that time, money, energy, and do it the easy way. So let me show you what the hard way looked like. So here's what most people do. They're going to experiment, they're going to write their own listings, and they're going to wait around and you know, hope for the best. Or they're going to hire a quote-unquote expert to do it for them. And what happens, I've seen it hundreds of times, they'll pay them, they don't get results, and then they're out the money. Or they go out and they copy, kind of model off of other sellers, they still don't get really good results, and then they're kind of back to square run. I've seen this over and over. Well, how about you take the easy way that made me and countless other millionaires? So, um, again, last year was year one. Um, my business did six twenty-five zero thirty six hundred twenty-five thousand thirty-two dollars. Again, that's not my most lucrative business, but the one I'm most proud of because that's the one I involved my entire family. And I'm going to show you, like step by step, how that happened. So there's basically there's like three secrets to it, and I'm going to go through all these um, in a second. So number one is how you can launch six-figure plus businesses literally at will. Number two, I'm going to expose this right here. Nothing else. You get nothing else from this presentation. Number two is why you're here. Okay. So I'm going to expose the biggest myth about rankings and how us silent millionaires make all the money. And this is a huge, huge, huge eye opener. And then number three, I'm going to show you um, how to take your six listings to six, seven, eight figures by yourself without wasting any money on anything. All right. Fair enough. Don't, cool. don't be telling anybody number two. Yeah, you know, we want to keep that money for ourselves. <laughs> 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 Share it in this way when I ask fine. <laughs> God, I'm giving away too much. This is, yeah, what am I doing? Oh, oh well. All right. So um, this is kind of where I was at. So over four years, going on five, going on over five now, um, I was optimizing listings for clients, and I was making a ton of money. It was all cool, but I was sick of seeing how much money they were making. I'm like, dude, it's my turn. Come on. So I realized quickly that the holy grail of Amazon is having optimized listings because there's nothing that came close. Um, and here's the story I was talking about. Um, my client Mike, he went from 50k a month to 3 million, got him to being the number one bestseller in weight loss. Probably, you know, pretty hard to do that. And this is what he um, he said to me. He said he, at first he wasn't sure. I'll just paraphrase. He wasn't sure if it would make a huge difference. He was actually reluctant to make um, any changes to the copy. But he said with um, one of those specific products. He his um, per day revenue increased by almost two thousand dollars, like per day. And he said nothing he's seen has resulted in such an increase. Even price changes um, didn't alter conversions that much. He said it was just killing it. He was absolutely stunned. Um, all this cool stuff. But it's not just Mike. So Vinny, same story. He said within literally twenty four hours updating his listing, um, his BSR jumped. After updating um, his copy and raising his price by two dollars a unit, and he said that um, ranking is still improving, and sales are still coming in. Uh, yeah, so he was just super, super excited. And then this one's my favorite, though. Um, Colby said, uh, in less than 12 hours after implementing these changes, he already saw an increase in conversion. And then he said he was skeptical, asked for a recommendation, came highly re recommended, blah blah blah. But then the coolest thing is this: he said. This investment will literally pay for itself before he wakes up tomorrow morning. That's amazing. Like, I wish I could like find a stock that would do that, but this is like way better. You know, like usually you don't see your money back for months. This Colby saw it back in 12 hours. Like, just insane. So anyway, this is the best part though. Like the opportunity is right in front of us, and the answer to big sales on Amazon is obviously having optimized listings, and um, it's not hard. That's the cool thing. It isn't hard. Um, and I will tell you, being around this game forever now, the number one investment you can make is hands down optimizing your listings the right way, because um, it'll do so many things. You know, rank better, it'll allow you to settle a higher price, sell more, wipe out, wipe the floor of your comp competition, and like so many other things. All right, secret two. Should I skip this one, Mike? No, nah, give it to him. Give it oh, to him. Fine. <laughs> all right, all right. <laughs> so um, there's a few simple rules to follow about this one. Um, common sense.
okay? And I'm going to show you like how to actually um, the the right way to look at what rankings mean, and then I'm going to show you how us um, silent millionaire sellers out there are making all the money. I hope anybody out there wants to see that, right? All right, cool. So um, I'm just going to just be totally frank with you. Rankings and where you fall in the search results is literally the most overrated thing I've ever seen. And here's what I mean. So uh, while everybody else is like super focused on getting ranked, I focus on the money. Um, and I'm going to like show this when I share my screens in a, in a minute. But um, the point is this. It doesn't matter if you're ranked number one or two in the search results. If number seven makes all the money, right? <laughs> Right, you know what I'm saying? So why not make all the money? Like everybody's investing all this time, energy, and money into these tools to get ranked, and and it doesn't matter. <laughs> so um, when I share my screen, I'll I'll prove that to you. But uh, just wanted to plant the seed there for you. Um, and there, here's another thing that a lot of people ask me about is like, okay, optimize my listing. I'm scared because it might be TUS there, but. It, that's not what we're doing. It just means we're going to be smart and we know what Amazon wants and we want to give it to them. I've been around since, like I said, since 2011. I've never had one client um, ever get shut down. Never had my own accounts ever shut down. Um, I've had many clients come to me having worked with kind of, you know, knockoff services that came to me with accounts that were suspended and um, it's, it's obvious why that happens. So with that, don't trust a knockoff service or a quote unquote expert. You got to do this the right way. It's your business, all right? So, um, secret number three I want to show you how to take your listing from six, seven, eight figures by yourself, all by yourself. So, the secret to success, again, is getting the right information from the right people. Pop quiz. I, I'm sorry to put you on the spot, but I want everybody to put in the chat box what they think the answer to this question is. So what do all of the big time sellers, uh, big time Amazon sellers, what do all of them have in common? Let's see if anybody gets the right answer. Dedication we've got here, loads of money, says Tony <laughs> Miles. <laughs> um, money, David Hamilton, private label product, lots of money, money to invest, common sense, good copy, common sense, customers, hustle, uh, <laughs> all the, um, awesome professional listing, um, get their audience, optimize listings, um, sales rankings, time, sex appeal. Know what your head's at, Eric. Uh, <laughs> Michael, <laughs> Christian St. Michael, smiley face. That's a good one, Christian. You're definitely on my Christmas card list this year. Uh, and Lee <laughs> Morris is, is saying first to the market in a niche. So uh, good copywriting. I think we've got a good mixture. Uh, research, David Fripp says, and the right information. Um, so what, what is it, Dina? Um, let's have it. Yeah, those are all awesome, awesome answers, and I don't want to be like, no, you're wrong. So I'm going to say there's no wrong answer, but here's my answer. My answer is they all have a lot of products. They all do, right? The biggest sellers have a lot of products, and in fact, um, there's a it's it's one of the lines in the fine print. So um, I was like, I stumbled across this. I don't even know how, but um, I was like opening up a new seller account with. Um, with a partner and I was just reading some of the like fine print as you join at, as a new seller and one of the lines said it literally explicitly said I wish I would have screenshotted it um, that Amazon wants you to have at least 40 ASINs like they want us to have a lot of ASINs so the reason Susan's running around China is because she's giving Amazon what they want does that make sense everybody lots of products yeah. So that's just let your let your mind kind of absorb that one. And while it does, I got some really cool stuff to show you. So I'm gonna put my money where my mouth is real quick, and I'm gonna do something that probably nobody ever nobody else has. And I'm gonna do a screen share. Okay. I hope you all can see. Can you see my screen? Is it um a an Amazon? Yes. Yeah. Sure. Awesome. Okay. Cool, cool. So I got to give a quick disclaimer. These are not my own or my client's listings I'm about to show you to protect their privacy. Um, I'm just going to show you a couple quick examples of some really good, op like really well optimized listings and then some um, that aren't so good. So 
Basically, before I do, I want to explain that there's two steps to having a perfectly optimized listing. Okay, the first step is to have it, and and here's the thing: most people who claim to know how to optimize a listing don't even know this. So, the first step is to have them optimized within the search results. All right. So that that means um, I'm just pulling search phrases out of the air, and I'm I'm searching bike light. Okay. So we, we search bike light and now um, ignoring the sponsored listings for now, we get a bunch of different bike lights that pop up, right? The search result shows a bunch of different options. So optimizing your listing starts with optimizing it within the search results. And the reason for that is because if you're not getting clicked on, you're not selling your product. So everybody thinks that optimizing your listing means um, getting in here and then changing up the copy. Well, yeah, that's half of the story, but it starts with optimizing it within the search results. So that's the first half of the side of the coin. The other side of the coin is having it optimized on the actual page of your listing. Okay, so when somebody clicks on it and lands there, now we got to get them to buy. So. Uh, all right, I gotta prove that bold statement and secret number two of the most overrated thing I've ever seen, and that is that the ranking on the page, where you fall on the page, is overrated. What actually matters is your click-through rate, okay? Because getting your listing clicked on is what translates to sales. So let me prove that to you. So by clients. Let's see, um, Michael, you obviously know what um, Jungle Scout is and how that works. Yeah. Do, um, so I, do, I better give this quick, if, in case anybody watching doesn't know, um, I don't want them to think that this particular keyword, so basically this is how Jungle Scout works for anybody that isn't totally sure. So basically it just gives you all, it spits out all this data for you. Okay, it just gives you a side by side of all of the, the sellers that, that show up on this particular search results. Now, the caveat I have to give you in case you're not sure how Jungle Scout works is I don't want you to think that the keyword um, phrase, search phrase bike light is going to um, uh, be in itself uh, responsible for the entire amount of sales. This number right here, okay, $24,000 in the last 30 days for this seller is not just from this keyword. Okay, it's from all keywords. But the more keywords you search, the more of the story it'll, that it's going to tell. Does that make sense, Michael? Absolutely, and, and it's one of the things. I mean, I've got a, a nice surprise for you as well. I'll send you over with a, a plugin that we that we've built for Profits Engine, and what we do is we. Um, every search term or every search phrase will bring you back a differentiation because um, in terms of numbers because the numbers can't be the same for every single search term it's just not possible because different search phrases will be driving more numbers than uh, the, the, for, for a long tail phrase for example like your mm -hmm. your bit light is a is a, is a is a kind of key, key, keyword as such, you know what I mean? So therefore we would be looking at uh, a long tail key phrase that would be potentially driving even more numbers and, and these kind of plugins find it difficult to pull that out. So it's really important that you don't focus on one keyword and you look at all of the spectrum and, and the students are well, 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 well aware to, uh, the elite sellers are well aware to look out for that. You know, but a great point, a great point. Absolutely, I love, thank you. Wow, I just got a gift. Sweet. <laughs> so um, <laughs> Michael is dead on. And, and the reason I bring it up is because it's challenging for me um, and Michael and anybody else that's presenting to try and make this message resonate for people that are just getting started and for the people that are well advanced. So I just got to try to get everybody um, taken care of with that. So um, the whole point of me using Jungle Scout and use Michael's tool, um, it's going to be way better than this anyway. But this was <laughs> so. Um, the point of great, great tool. It's just that we're we're diving in uh, and adding different things like um, taking seasonality into account and trying to make that a little bit more transparent, you know, which is not possible with um, with that just that little interface, you know. So we we build in the seasonality side of it, but it's a great tool. Use it for many years, and I've used it in lots of presentations. So you're good, man. Just continue, no problem. That's awesome. Um, go with Michael's tool. <laughs> That's amazing. Yeah. 
Um, they have no choice. They have to take it. <laughs> <laughs> that's cool. That's cool. Um, so, all right, so the whole point of me just using this right now is to just illustrate my point. Um, straight up, I'm telling you that click-through rate is what matters because that's what means sales. So rankings, where you fall on the page doesn't matter. So let's, here's an example. Number one, organic result. They're doing $7,900, okay? Number five is doing six times as much. That doesn't, so does, I hope that just makes, just gives you clarity on what should I focus on? Well, I'm going to say that number five is focused on money, whereas number one is focused on the, where they fall in the search results, okay? So, um, and I know people are going to argue different things, and, and I'll, I'll show you um, as I do more examples, because you're, people are going to say, oh, well, reviews are skewing it, or um, BSR, all these things, and I'll show you that that's not true. What's happening is they're focused on the right things that are making them money. So um, the, the, the wrong um, way to approach this that most sellers do is they try to get ranked in the top three results. And that's great if you do, that doesn't hurt. Okay, it doesn't hurt to be ranked there, I'm not gonna lie. But it doesn't matter if you're ranked there if no one's clicking on you, right? So if they're gonna scroll past you and click on the next one, it doesn't matter. So here's the number one result organically. This title is not getting them clicked on. There's number two, three, four, five. Okay, number five. Remember him, the guy that's making all the money? He's getting clicked on. And I'm going to show you how and why in a second, but I'm just trying to drive the point home that what actually matters and what's actually going to make you the money is getting your title clicked on. It doesn't matter where you fall on the page. I've seen countless times um, listings that are toward the bottom making more money than listings toward the top because they're more optimized. And I'll say to, to prove this, um, myself, this is how I do it. I try to get to, I, I absolutely have to get to page one. That's a no-brainer. Everybody knows that. But when I get to page one, I try to get to the top half, depending on how competitive it is. But sometimes I'll, I'm okay if I don't. Because if the listings above me are so bad that they're getting scrolled past and they're clicking on me anyway, what's the point? Like, why would I spend more time, energy, you know, it resources on getting ranked higher than that if I don't need to. So um, I just hope that opens your eyes to a whole new world of, oh, um, it's not a bad thing to be ranked up there, but what's more important than that is getting clicked on because I can't get a sale without someone hitting my listing. Um, so uh, let's, okay, so I know what's in your mind. All right, Dana, you stupid goat farmer. Duh, that makes sense. But how? How do I get my listing clicked on? Why does number five get more clicks or more sales than number one? Um, if what you're arguing is true, how is that happening? How is it not the reviews or the BSR or whatever else? Well, it's quite simple. What gets you out of bed in the morning? It's benefits, okay? Everybody and their brother wants to have keywords in their title. Why? Because that's going to help you get ranked for those keywords, all right? So if you're going after some of these great keywords. Who else do you think is going after those keywords? Probably your competitors because guess why? They want that traffic too. Now, here's where the issue arises and that I see a lot of sellers making a mistake of. They get carried away with dumping keywords in their titles and then they don't realize, oh, that's just a mashup of keywords and nobody's going to click on that because it doesn't even read well and it doesn't make sense and there's no benefits, all right? So I'm gonna just going to show you, I'm going to prove that to you. Remember number five, who's lower on the page but is making all the money? Look at this. USP. That's a benefit, right, Michael? Yep, USP. Exactly. Um, I mean, it's full of benefits. It's, it's, such, a, it's such an important point, but this goes back to basic copy 101. Yeah, again, back to the Google days where... You know, when you're writing co uh, adverts for, uh, for for paid search in Google, it's it's the title. It's everything's in the title. It's call to action. And what this guy is doing here is is giving his user base call to action. It's, it's, it's giving them And guess what, guys? When somebody types in a bike light, they want a bike light. They're not cozying up next to a fireplace and they're like they've got two hours to look. They're on their phone and they're like they've got. 15 seconds to find one. <laughs> so
So if you're not giving them what they need immediately, good luck to you. Okay. So you've got one shot. This is the most important place to optimize your listing is your type is it within the search results. Okay. So that again, that's half of the story. So let's look at the second half. Okay. So the first half is getting and, and you can't just have all benefits in the title because then what happens? You don't have keywords. So what I like to say is is um, have a good mix of maybe two to one ratio, two two keywords for one benefit, um, and it helps Amazon um, let you. Uh, they like it better that way too. So um, two to one is is what I use. And then let's talk about real quick the on page op optimization. So awesome, you figured out you got to get your darn listing clicked on. Now you got it clicked on. Even though you're in spot seven, I don't care. I'm making all the money at spot seven, but that's half the story. Now you got to get these people to convert, all right? So, uh, real quick. Um, so, so now we're going over on-page optimization, all right? So I want to show you real quick um, something that has taken Amazon by storm. And remember, I was I started full time on here in, as a consultant in 2011. And um, back in probably like 2012-ish, I brought something to the table, brought something to the Amazon world that is now like mainstream. And I'm actually really proud of it. And I'm sure all of you have seen this. Most of you probably are using it. And it is the all caps, um, beginnings of bullets. And in case some of you have been using it and don't know why or think you know why, maybe it's not actually why, I'm going to explain why I, so I invented that and I'm going to show you, or I didn't invent it, but I brought it to Amazon um, years ago and I'm going to show you why I did. And then you're going to make, ah, that's why I use it. And you're going to be like, wow, that's amazing. Dana is amazing, but he's also a goat farmer. So I don't know about him. He's kind of weird. <laughs> so, um, all right, here's the deal. Copywriting as a copywriter back in a previous lifetime, uh, I used and I'm sure most of you are aware of a technique called dual readership. So basically what that means is there's two types of people. There's the type of people that are like you and me who just want to skim through and extract what we need and move on. We don't have all day to read every single word. And then there's people like our Aunt Virginia who have to read every freaking word before they open up their, they pry open their wallet and they spend their money like they have to know everything about it. So how do we, we don't want to pick and choose between the two because we want to sell to everybody. So how do we do that? We do, we use dual readership. So essentially what that means is, okay, we're going to um, appease the people like you and me by letting us skim through. Okay. So what's happening, and this isn't done that well. Um, it, it should be, there should be, uh, the all caps should go to about here because that would be much easier. Um, to skim through because this becomes kind of a bit of a blob um, of text. But what happens is now we can skim through these bullets one at a time without reading the entire thing. For example, we can read save money and hassle. Cool. Free taillight included. Cool. Versatile uh, more than a bike light. Cool. 360 um, swivel ability indestructibly built. Okay. No risk. 100% So, all right. You see how that works? Like if we were to try, if this was... Um, see if I got a good example. I guess I don't. But if this was written all lowercase, it would be one huge blob of text, right? How do you skim through that and extract anything? You can't. So what happens is somebody comes in, they start reading, and they get to here, and they're like, wow, this is a horrible, boring experience. I'm done. I'm not buying this crap. Whereas if somebody comes in with a specific benefit in mind, like let's say that the ability to swivel 360 degrees for some reason is why you want the this light, then they can come in and say, oh, save money, eh, that's kind of cool, but not really relevant. Free tail light, I don't care. Versatile, more than bike light, eh, that's cool, but, oh, shoot, 360 degree swivel ability? Sick, like that's speaking my language. Now I'm going to read the rest of the bullet, and I'm going to be totally sold, and then all the rest of this is gravy. But if you didn't have it written in this format, that same person that comes in looking for the 360 swivel ability is going to read excuse me, I clicked something wrong, is going to read like to here, and then they're going to be like, oh, like this sucks, like I'm done. And then they're gone forever. You suck. You lost them, okay? So the point is 
there's a very specific reason that like 80% of every Amazon listing has these all caps. It's because the goat farmer, like four years ago, brought it to Amazon. It's called dual readership, and that's what it's for. Now, like I said, a lot of people do this wrong. It's very flattering to see it, and people are trying, but they're doing it wrong because this is how it should be done. You should have about 35 to 40 percent of your entire bullet in all caps, like uh, about to. So for this first bullet, it would be about to like here, okay? So that and and it should be almost all of these all caps. Like every bullet should start with them. Like they they've got that part down, but it should be more like a third of the bullet, a little over a third, and then it should be all um, benefits, almost all benefits in every single all caps. Um, uh, uh, phrase. So then you have like two to three similar benefits tied together in this all caps phrase and then you come back to the lower case and you just kind of elaborate on it and you can get into more of the like feature side of things for those that need that. Okay so again we this is the heart and soul of your listing, your bullets. That's why I'm spending time on it. This is what converts people. Images are great. <laughs> and, and for anybody who is is listening or, or watching a presentation and thinking to themselves, well, I really, I, I, it's the creativity, I'm reading that listing and it's, and it's brilliant, it captures everything. What this listing has actually done, in my opinion, and yeah, you might agree on this, um, Susan, you probably agree as well, is that this listing just screams to me as if it's read over all of the reviews, all the negative reviews of its competition, and it's added what this product does over and above them. So the negative reviews might be, I run out of batteries, um, I'm always having to replace them, and he's just completely con in, in, constructed his listing round about um, exactly what this doesn't do, which is doesn't run out of batteries and all this sort of stuff. So it's put, he's, he's li literally taken the reviews from users and turned it into copy. And you guys um, will, will be recapped on that in, in, um, when we do the, the, the photography presentation on and creating images to convert alongside copy, but th this for me is exactly what he's done here. So I think one of the questions you might come out the back of that is what happens if you're not creative like this, but that's that for me is, it, it maybe you'll agree there, that it's a good way of getting around the creative block is actually going into your uh, to your reviews or your competitors' reviews and, and, and building your listing around about that. Absolutely. Michael just hit it dead on. Dead on. So, um, let me just, do you mind if I reveal the, like, secret to copywriting, like, like that nobody really talks about? Is that okay if I reveal that? Yeah, go ahead, please. Okay. So, 90% of copywriting has nothing to do with writing. Literally, nothing. 90% of copywriting has to do with research. So, if you ever find that you don't know what, what word to use, or, or you're just having trouble writing your copy, you need to go do some more research because you should be exploding out like like literally like your page should be so long with stuff that's coming out of your your typing out that you're like wow I gotta trim this up that is a good that's how you write good copy okay so Michael just gave you basically the number one tool or I guess the number one resource on Amazon for me is the reviews okay there's no I mean it's no coincidence that this listing is selling as well as it is because I think they've done their homework and Michael spotted it right away and I think they've inspired their copy based on the reviews of others and their own products right so I don't know about you but I dig through the gold mine of reviews all day long because people are gonna tell us what they want more importantly they're gonna complain about what they don't like about something all right that's gold and it's free and it's yeah. right there yeah. <laughs> so um listen to michael he's a smart guy <laughs> so um all right gotta keep moving all right so i hope that that gives you a little bit of insight and in like literally right now um if i got hit by a bus as i'm speaking you could take what you've discovered to this point and then implement it into your listings right now and see a huge benefit from it. Now, I have to warn you though, so you have to listen to this part. Titles are fragile. This is what I mean. 
Titles are something that Amazon polices very heavily. Unlike bullet points. Bullet points, you could almost get away with murder. All right? And I say that in confidence because I've literally had a hand in changing a thousand listings, probably. So what I'm saying is do not go and reinvent the wheel on your title. Yes, you can change it up and, and put as, do the two-to-one ratio keyword to benefit and create, craft a totally new title. But do not switch it all at once. Okay, Switch one to two words at a time. The reason for that, and I'm sure some of you that have been around a while know, Amazon is very, very, very finicky with their titles, and they will take away your ability to change your title, and they will make your life miserable um, because I think they enjoy that. But anyway, just a quick tip for you when you go to change your title, don't do it all at once. Do a word or two at a time, and you should be just fine. Your bullet points, you can change those pretty much all day long and be fine. So um, hopefully that's helpful. We got to keep moving though. Yeah. Um, all right. Let me show you. Okay. I got a few. All right. Some people might be like, oh, bike light, you know, that's a fluke. You know, you probably, you probably had that one in your, you know, in your sleeve or whatever. And that's cool. Like I, at first I was actually really skeptical, skeptical of this. Cause I'm thinking like, this can't be right. Like that, that, you know, whatever. But let me show you. So here's ab belts. Let's test this theory. Oh, that's a bad one because we got a brand in there. That's not a good one. All right, let's test with safety vest. Let's see who's making the money. All right, so that one's pretty, pretty well spread out. Gosh, of course, now my examples are not good. <laughs> All right, jewelry stand. This is going to be good. All right, so... Let's look at result number two. It's making $3,500. Result number 12 is making almost double that. All right? So you're telling me if result number 12 is should be fighting and clawing and doing everything they can, possibly can, to make, to get into spot two if, if it's only going to make them half as much. Oh, this is my favorite one, though. So pizza stones. I didn't even know what this was until... Um, I was doing some digging on Amazon. Apparently, there. Do you guys have those, Michael? Where you throw your pizza on this thing, and then you throw it in the oven, and then it makes the crust like perfectly done or something? Dude, I use a microwave. So unless you can microwave a pizza, <laughs> I, it's just not going to happen for me. Anything that's cooking related, I can't go either. I'm barred from the kitchen. <laughs> <laughs> don't, don't buy this. <laughs> <laughs> Oh man, all right. <laughs> We're getting deep here. So, <laughs> um, this is the coolest thing ever. So, I didn't even know this product existed, but now I like almost want to get into it. So, anybody that wants to get into the pizza stone business, you're going to make a lot of money. So, this guy is doing 25K a month on stones, pizza stones. It's a lot of stones. This guy down here in spot 18 is doing 24.9 pizza stones. It's a lot of stones, you guys. Okay. So the point is, spot 18, toward the bottom of the page, is doing uh, almost three and a half times as much as spot three. Okay? So the point is, I wish I had more time. The point is, this guy's getting clicked on. This guy's awesome because he's focusing on making the money. All right? Um, one more. Spoon rest. Ooh, this is a good one. Spoon rest. Result number six is making twenty-two thousand, almost twenty-three thousand a month. Result number one, two, three, four, five. Results one through five combined are not making as much as result number six. Should result number six spend more time, energy, and money on getting ranked higher, or should they just continue making money and then do rinse and repeat and get more raises? Doing what they're doing, hundred percent. Amen. Oh, and here's what, this is the cool thing. So, oh, I love this one. All right. So would you guys like to see in 15 seconds whether or not you can find or how I spot and um, remember I said I can find wide open opportunities to create and launch six figure plus businesses pretty much at will. You got to say yes in the chat box or I can't hear you and I'm going to assume that you don't. Want to. Yeah, I'm waiting for everybody to see yes as well and I realize <laughs> So, Des Roy, who's saying, 
yes, um, pizza stones are good. Um, I have one, says Pam Barra. Um, but yeah, I mean, hell yes. We've got hell yes in the house. Amen. Yes, please. Um, yes, yes, yes. F yes, which we can't say, which is an abbreviation for, I think it's a profanity. Um, very polite. <laughs> Um, so, yes, said Christian Sandy. So, anyway, we've got lots of yeses. You know, so, go ahead, reveal. And I just spotted probably my favorite comment of the night. Somebody asked how they get uh, Dana, Michael, Susan in a room with a few bottles of alcohol so that they can get more knowledge. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they, they know, they, 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 that has been asked many a times. Can we just get five minutes and sit down and have a drink, have some lunch? And then we know that we're just going to get um, bombarded with, uh, with, with, with questions about their business. But this is an absolute golden nugget. So, Dana, drop it to the group. Let them okay. see it. Fine, fine, fine. You, you, you've convinced me. Okay. So, Dana, go to Vegas. So, maybe next year, uh, 2018, Canada will get you there. <laughs> Vegas. All right. So, um, all right. If you want to launch a, what is this, a quarter million dollar a year? Um, business right here. Actually, it's not even a business. It's a product. One product is doing a quarter million dollars a year. Okay. Can you make, can you, okay, this is what I'm going to ask and challenge you. Can you call up a pizza, um, that's not even a pizza stone. How about I get the pizza stone involved? All right. Can you call up a pizza stone manufacturer? And can you say, hey, I want I want to order like a thousand stones and I want you to throw my logo on it, okay? And then can you have them ship them to FBA if you want to just have FBA take care of it? And then can you launch and craft a more optimized listing than what you are witnessing in front of you? I That's sure hope so. Yep. Look at that. Are you kidding? Me? <laughs> <laughs> That's pathetic. That's a You're pathetic. pathetic. Completely offended by that. Yeah, that's 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 what I love. I love it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I find that offensive. <laughs> <laughs> no, but really, you guys, seriously, the problem is that people are just focused on the wrong things. That's why they fail on Amazon. Like I've seen it over and over. So if you can just launch another pizza stone and have a better, more optimized listing than this guy, I mean, you're walking into a quarter million dollar. <laughs> A year of Peter Stone. But P Peter Tar just says it looks like a third grader had written that, but that third grader is making quarter of a million a year. But but yeah, money aside, definitely there for the taking. Absolutely. So um, that right there, you guys, is how to spot and with clarity. Because one of the biggest struggles I had. And I'm sure all of you are, have had, if not are having, is, geez, like, you get the anxiety of, should I launch this or not? And um, there you go. That's the clarity you need. Should you launch or not? Ask yourself, well, how much money are they making? Number one, use Michael's tool. Number two, uh, could I call up the manufacturer, get it shipped out to FBA? And then number three, uh, could I craft a more optimized listing than that? And then go get some reviews. Boom. That's it. That's the recipe. So, um, we got to move, though. All right. So, let me ask you, can you – actually, oh, i got to show this. So, I launched um, one of my newest businesses. It's actually a, a, a pet supplements line. Um, it's a little – I'd say it's more like 15 months ago now. And this is what I did. I paid three grand to launch two products, bootlegged. Not bootlegged. Um, Guerrilla marketing style. I optimized my listings, and then I was the number one re new release. I did 30k in the first month. This again isn't my most lucrative business, but I'm the one, one I'm the most proud of because that is my family you're looking at. Okay, I hired them all, and then we moved into 2,500 square foot production facility in the first year. Okay, we did 625 in the first year. This is the cool thing, though. That's my grandpa. And <laughs> That's his way of saying, please don't take my picture. <laughs> but anyway, it's fun. I, I know whatever your guys' like goal is or dreams are, it's fun. Okay, Whatever it is, just listen to the right people and it's going to happen. So with what you have discovered, can you see yourself growing your business and hiring more staff and then eventually creating an asset for yourself that you could and should potentially sell down the road for millions? It's all right here, you guys. Again, let's recap. 
Now you know how to launch six figure plus businesses at will. Okay, 15 second glance. You know the questions to ask yourself. You don't need crazy anything. Number two, you also know now the biggest myth about rankings and how us silent Amazon millionaires make all the money. Okay, huge eye opener for me. Hope it was for you as well. Now you also know how to take your listings to six, seven, eight figures yourself. You don't need to hire a bunch of experts, quote unquote. So let me ask you this. What has been stopping you from optimizing your listings the right way and cashing in on this for yourself? Well, I'll tell you, I'll bet you this. It's not your fault. It is not that you haven't worked hard enough or that you aren't smart. I'm not smart. I'm a goat farmer. It's more simple than that, all right? It's that you just haven't probably gotten all of the right information from all the right people. So reset your thinking for a second. I know that you've been burnt in the past. I have too, tons of times. I've been around too long. And I also know you get bombarded with a million different like offers for everything. Okay, I'm an Amazon seller. I do too every single day. But think about this. What if you started putting your money in the right places and you stopped wasting any of your money on blind guesses or quote unquote experts that don't actually do this or trying to figure it out on your own? Just think about that. Now, I gotta be honest. Um, I wish I could show you everything. I wish I could literally just sit down with you for an entire day and show you everything, lay it all out there. That would make me feel amazing, but that's impossible to do within an hour. Um, so that's why I created this. It is the um, Ultimate Listing Optimization Secrets Workbook. Basically, instead of me fishing and catching a fish for you, because I used to charge 10 grand a listing, by the way, to do this, and I don't do that anymore because I just, like, I can't help as many people sitting down and doing it. So this is what I did. I put all that into a book. And now instead of catching the fish for you, I can teach you how to fish. And that's amazing because I can help so many more of you. What this does, it, it literally it's going to take you by the hand and force you to craft a perfectly optimized listing. And in this presentation, literally, man, I probably showed you like five secrets maybe. Well, in this book, there's more than 50, way more than 50. And um, this is what Mike said about it. Uh, he said, get this workbook now. All right? That's pretty much what he said. He said some other thing, cool things, but that's the, that's the important part. Eric, okay. So it's not just Mike and these big time sellers either. It works for everybody, like even smaller smaller sellers like Eric. He was so excited because he implemented everything from it and then his sales were up by 30% from his best day ever. Like that is a huge win. I was so, I was more excited for Eric because he was up by 30% but from his best day than some of these other people that are doing huge things. Because I love seeing this. And this is who it works for. They're working for you if you're FBA, FBM, if you sell supplements, if you sell socks, if you sell dead rats. I had a client, <laughs> no joke, no joke. I had a client that sold um, freeze-dried dead rats to um, and rodents to um, owners of reptiles. So if he can do it, what is your excuse? Um, <laughs> so, um, sorry to throw you off there, Michael. <laughs> um, it's, it, if you're a small company with a few listings or even a solo with one, that's okay. Or if you're a huge company with lots of ASINs, holy crap, this is a holy grail, times 10, times a million. It works for any type of product or business on Amazon, right? And cool thing, though, I designed it to be extremely to the point and concise. So there's no wasted space at all. It's literally all meat, right? And if you can't do it, this is my new, like, like motto. Like, I know some of you out there are busy and you can't do it. Give it to your assistant and then turn them into a listing optimization expert. And then they're going to be like crazy valuable to you. All right. And it's not just a book though. I can't, I, I can say it looks like a book, but it doesn't act like a book. It is the number one Amazon listing optimization secrets workbook, your guide to a perfect listing, which I have sold a ton of copies for $6.99. But it's also, okay, inside of it, you're going to be getting my secrets that you cannot fake. Five years in the trenches with some of the biggest Amazon sellers relentlessly testing and tweaking their listings. Seriously, you can't find this anywhere. Like you can't fake that, right? So what you're gonna get, you're getting the book. It looks like a book, but it doesn't act like a book. But also you're getting my real proven secrets from in the trenches for five years with some of the biggest Amazon sellers. That's gotta be worth at least $3,500, way more, but it's okay. 
So crazy value, crazy value. But the best part, the best part, okay, is that I literally am going to take you by the hand. All right, and basically force you to optimize your own listings instead of hiring me. You don't want to do that, or going and trying to hire a knockoff because like you already know what's going to happen, right? I'm going to show you how to fish because I get to help way more people that way. So this alone is going to save you either thousands, if not tens of thousands of dollars, because you don't want to hire me. I don't want to do that anymore, and you don't want to hire a knockoff service or a quote unquote copywriter because. You're not going to get results and you're going to be out money. I see this all the time. But if you do nothing, you can do nothing. But if you do, you're going to stay where you are. And then people are going to invest in this. They're going to go launch pizza stones and make a quarter million bucks. Okay? <laughs> <laughs> Michael's got his order already placed for a round of pizza stones. <laughs> I've got a live chat going on right now. <laughs> <laughs> I love that. Okay. Again, though, my favorite part is that it's fast and easy. Like, you'll have your first listing already optimized in under an hour. So, ask yourself, can you afford to spend one hour optimizing your listing? All right? It truly is a no-brainer. So, let's recap. What are you getting? You're getting the book. It looks like a book, but it doesn't act like a book. All right? It's nothing like it on planet Earth. You also get my real proven secrets that you cannot fake. Five years in the trenches. Can't fake that stuff. Best of all, you get my step-by-step -step instructions forcing you to do it instead of me hiring hiring me to do it, excuse me, which again was $10,000 per ASIN. That's crazy. I don't want you to pay that. The value is through the roof, okay? I wish I, I, wish I could, <laughs> I w it's worth so much more than that, but I'll just say that it's worth 12 grand because it's worth way more. Think about this though. If all, of, if all it did, all it did was it allowed your real way to consistently, intentionally grow your Amazon business at will, like I do, would that be worth it? If all it did was it increased your rankings or your um, click-through rate, so you got 10% more traffic or five, let's say 5% better conversions, would that be worth it? If all it did was it gave you the power that you needed to outsell your competitors, squash, I like to squash those guys, how about you? Make your business sustainable and then scale as large as you want. Remember, what all the big dogs have in common, they've got a lot of ASINs, right? Would that be worth it if that's all it did? It's just math, okay? It really is. What is 10% more traffic worth? What about 5% better in conversions? What about being able to launch 10 new products a month like I, I do? That do between, even modestly, 10 and 30 a month, and then you just, you know, just kind of sit back and keep them afloat, collect a check. Well, what would you pay for all of the above? I would pay a lot. I'd pay a lot. So who's this work for? Well, it works for Travis and me. Okay. Like I said, um, we're we we are going to clear, we're we're going to clear nine hundred thousand dollars this month, right? Last year, um, our February earnings before before I partnered with Travis was fifty thousand. This February was seven hundred fifty thousand. I think this stuff works. What gets me excited though, is Eric, the small seller. He improved his sales by 30% from his best day ever. The dude was so happy. I was so happy for him. Okay? The, the part that really gets me, though, is, like, I was able to bring in my whole family. Like, I saved my aunt from a – she was working at a grocery store. Right? Like, that's the stuff you can't put a price on. So, you can see why people pay me 10 grand plus per listing to optimize their listings. And those who have purchased this book at six ninety nine say it's a fantastic deal worth way more. But because you're here and because Michael's amazing and Susan is amazing and they have put this on for you, you're going to get a copy for just three ninety seven. dollars Okay? And that's only good for you. Please do not tell everyone that you got this deal because I will have a lot of angry people <laughs> banging at my door figuratively. Okay? So if you want a copy, please grab it now. Go to devlindeal.com, all right? You have your private discount in there, so go there now. Again, you can be like me and do it the dumb way and spend five years to figure it out, or you can just grab the book, implement it in an hour, and cash in. So, well, one of the things 
to get to get right across to everybody that's on the call tonight as well is that the um, when Devlin's in the details, we're fine. I'm just going to throw that out there. But um, I've got the book. Um, I've seen the book. I've seen the. I've, I've worked. I've seen Dana's methods in action, and I've got a, t- a shit ton of books that I that I bought over the years that are marketing related. Russell's books, every, all marketers' books that I see are, are, are connected to a buy them, uh, and there's those kind of books that you've uh, that you've got that you always refer back to, um, and you might think, well, mm, I, that's just in our book. I'm not going to read it. These books are absolutely critical, and if you if you get the position yourself with the right the right topics that that you can always refer back to because. Copywriting is something that you need whether you're going to build an email sequence out, um, you, whether you're going to launch a, a new a new, a new opt-in funnel, whether you're going to build your Amazon listing, whether you're going to take your traffic from Facebook into your own squeeze page, you're going to need copy. You, and, and you most definitely need to have a resource to point back to. And that's why, in my opinion, um, the, the book is just absolutely critical. Absolutely. And um, he's so Michael's absolutely right. And um, the cool thing that uh, goes right in line with that that I figured out was I know a lot of you probably have like Shopify or some sort of store outside of Amazon, which is a good idea. And what you should think about is okay, maybe I should optimize that store too, right? Because as you know, Amazon run split tests all the time. They've tested what format works and the format that you're seeing on Amazon works, right? So what I did was I replicated that on my Shopify store and I replicate that in my emails and I replicate that all over. So um, not only is this book going to be good for Amazon because that's what it's designed for, but you're going to extract nuggets from there that you're going to be able to put into everything else, if that makes sense. So. Um, and here's the cool thing. Think about this. If you were to just improve your listing, like one of your listings, by a couple units a day, this book is already paid for easily. So you can do one of two things. You can do nothing, and then you can stay where you're at. Or you can make the small investment. I know that I could blow. I could go blow 397 on Facebook ads in five seconds and get nothing. I could blow 397 on um, a round of inventory, not even a whole round, a quarter of a round of inventory, and get nothing. But look at what you're getting, right? Look at all the value you're getting. For that, it's it's minuscule compared to the value. So it's you just have to really ask yourself, like, is it worth gambling a few minutes and three a measly three hundred ninety seven dollars when if it did a quarter, not even half of what I am claiming that it will do, and others have seen it do. It's going to pay for itself in your first listing, right? DevlinDeal.com. So I have folks that come to me all the time. They consider buying it. Some buy it, and I watch their progress, and I just, like, I see them kill it, and I love it. And they have optimized listings, and they get to cash in. Then I see others that don't buy, and they continue to struggle, and things get harder and harder for them, right? Michael's seen it. He's drank the Kool-Aid. He doesn't pitch everything to you guys. There's a reason that I'm here. So don't keep doing it on your own, though. You got to listen to somebody who's done it and proven it over and over. You can do this, okay? Again, it's not a book. It looks like a book, but it doesn't act like a book. But you're also getting my real secrets from in the trenches. You're getting the step-by-step instruction, right? But I understand you could. You're probably skeptical or worried, which is good. It's completely natural. Who does this goat farmer think he is coming in here and saying all this stuff? But think about this for a second. All right. If you don't want to invest the 397, you don't have to. But your listing is going to stay right where it's at. I'm telling you because I've seen this over and over and over. Well, if you don't think it's work, it'll work. That's fine. But there's a reason you cannot argue that I took Mike's listing from 50K to 3 million a month. There's a reason I launched my own businesses because I knew that this was it. All right? It works. And if you've never ordered from me, that's cool. Check out my feedback, copywritingprofessor.com forward slash reviews. Nobody has feedback like this because nobody produces the results that I do. And I'm not a magician or some genius guru. I'm a regular guy who has a farm full of goats who worked pretty darn hard to figure all this stuff out 
I surrounded myself with brilliant sellers and now I'm passing that on to you. Uh, the fact that you're on here tells me you're hungry for massive success on Amazon, um, but you're never satisfied, which I'm the same way and I love that. You've gotten this far, but this is the final touch you need. I'm really not special, okay? I'm not good at a lot of things, um, but I've made a lot of money on Amazon from optimized listings. So, and the moment you have all been waiting for, here they are. We got the stars of the show. <laughs> what's that? Go, what's the go on the left doing? What's Eddie doing? That's what I want to know. What's you, know what's you look kind of happy with whatever Eddie's doing. I mean, yeah. What's Eddie getting fed? <laughs> <laughs> wow, you went there. You know what he's actually doing? He's biting the shit out of my head. But, <laughs> I set right. myself up for that one. <laughs> you certainly did. But Dana, I mean, on behalf of myself and Susan, I just want to say again, thanks for all your contribution, everything you've done for the entire network. Um, you know, for, for Amazon sellers, I know a lot of Amazon sellers that you work with. Um, I know Susan, how highly she speaks of you. You're you're hundred percent right. We don't pitch we don't pitch to any we don't pitch products. What we do is we is we pitch value. And we pitch, if we think something that we've used and tried and tested and implemented and worked with and actually do have um, for, for the group and for, for, the, for the network, uh, and we know it's going to make them money, same way as what we did with Dan, you've already seen, you've had the run-up to, uh, to, to, to Dan's keyword methodology, you've had my keyword masterclass, you're going to get a whole ton of optimization for photography. Um, I, I mean, the same thing happens with images as it does with copy. Uh, if you've got really poor images but amazing copy, then your listing again is going to fall down. So we've got conversion images coming at you. So you really do have everything that you need in your arsenal right now um, to, to basically put the perfect listing together and convert way over and above. And we're getting some questions in here. Um, Dana, and one of the questions is, is that, I mean, someone's saying, like, should I go after a product if it's got loads of, uh, loads of sellers on it? Or should I go after a product if it's you know, got lots of reviews? We've just answered that question by showing you quite literally that you can go after anything if they have a poor listing. If you can outlist them or outsell them within your copy and outsell them within your images, we've just proven that it doesn't matter what they've got. You know, you, you can literally outsell them as long as you've got the, the images and the copy, then you will convert. It really is as simple as that. Absolutely. Yeah, well said. And so there's a fine line like, if, if there's a lot of sellers, that means there's probably a lot of buyers. But if there's two, like, but there's a fine line where, where markets do get saturated, like baking mats. You know, we've all seen that. So um, use your intuition, but like what Mike, Michael just said, uh, if you've got a better optimized listing, then you win. Each, every time. So we're 13 minutes over the hour. Dana, I'm going to go ahead and put the link inside the group as well. I'm going to ask the attendees that are on the, the webinar just now, um, if, the, if they can go ahead and ask any questions that they might have around about copy, I'm happy to take the questions. Dana, have you still got time or uh, have you got stuff that you have to do? Because if you, if, I know that you're an extremely busy dude, but if you want to stay on, you're more than welcome. But if you, equally so, if you want to jump off, then I can spar with the group as well and literally take the questions on and on your behalf. The link will go inside the, the, the closed group when all the members resigned anyway, so they're not going to lose that here. Um, and also what I did do, guys, is I did include the, uh, the Amazon. Um, some, somebody was asking a question about how many characters should you have in your title and your body. Uh, that, Amazon answers all of that. I mean, if you go to the link that I've shared with all of the attendees tonight, um, Amazon's page, um, you can go there and you can find out all the characters and the way that Amazon wants to see your listing. Um, and obviously you've been taught what kind of differentiation you should have by way of keywords. Um, throughout the title, into the USPs, and on into your description. So, Dana, do you have time for some Q and A's, or do you need to bounce, my good man? I, you know what, my goats are fed. I got some time. How's that sound? You know, Eddie was fed. <laughs> <laughs> oh God. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, um, so guys, if we've got some 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 questions, let's go ahead. It's not often you'll get somebody of, of Dana's caliber um, for 
uh, for copywriting. Let's let's make it happen. Let's see if you've got. So Tony Miles is saying absolutely awesome info. Great info. Um, is the book available in Kindle or PDF? Awesome question. Everybody asks me that. So unfortunately, it's not because the tr the value inside, honest to goodness, is so tremendous that I couldn't like. I would rather lose a sale if but to somebody than let this thing float around the internet. Because if every single person got their hands on it, um, it would you know it wouldn't be good. We wouldn't be in the two percent. Copy online, that's for sure. But I, I, I know what you're saying is, and this is another reason why we don't produce documents and transcripts and stuff because uh, we know that, that that sellers know sellers, and you know you're all friends. And uh, unfortunately, this is just something that happens online. Is that content of this value and when you produce and we spend a, a ton of time putting the webinars together for you bringing people like Dana like Dan um, and everybody else that we're bringing to you to try and help your listing increase your sales because these are the people that we use uh, and, and the methods that we use in our, in our business so if we bring them to you then then it's 100% it's advised that you, you do what we say um, you know but at the end of the day uh, that is obviously down to you guys for you to make that decision but that's like what Dana's just mentioned it's not something that I would highly recommend for any authority to do is produce printable documents or shareable content that you can just float around the internet because um, particularly when there's so much brain dump into this. Um, but yeah, so um, Liam Morrison is saying, um, what is your best way to bring your listing to page one? Great question. Um, and also I should say before, I, sorry, before I forget, um, I would ship at that price, 397 I sh include worldwide rush shipping. So shipping's free. Wherever you are on planet Earth, we've shipped to 41 countries, and it'll get to you quickly for free. So, um, yeah, good question. So best way to get to page one. Uh, first of all, I would say definitely need to listen to Michael and um, the, the use Michael's um, leverage his keyword expertise and tools. But then um, you have to basically... So every single like listing or every single product, you have to uh, sort of look at it in terms of you versus what else is there for that, not just that, that product, but also that search phrase you're trying to get to page one for. So for example, if all, you know, the majority of the products on page one have, uh, so, and it's really common sense, but um, if the majority of the, the the listings on page one for that particular keyword or search phrase have a thousand plus reviews on them, it's probably going to be pretty difficult to get there. So um, that's what I look for first, and I kind of hedge my bets. I think, okay, do I need to get a thousand, two thousand reviews just to get to page one? Maybe it's not even worth going after that keyword. And then you do things. I'm sure Michael's taught you this, but then. You could use more long, um, long tail keywords and search phrases to make up that volume. So the best way to get there is to do what you're doing, but look at what else is out there, and then uh, make an intelligent decision as to whether or not it's worth going after page one, and then just sticking with it and doing it until you're there. One hundred percent. And also, Lee, you've got to look at the external factors of driving traffic in, um, social references that we're going to be talking about as. Uh, getting the social signals up inside uh, inside Facebook. Again, we talked about that with PPV, using your social reference URL um, and, and pushing traffic externally, which will give you a bump as well, as well as running paid search, which will also give you a bump. Uh, and if you've got an optimized listing in the form of um, conversion uh, images that convert, as well as your copy that converts, then it's you've done all you can. It's then in the hands of the buyer, uh, and, and ultimately in the hands of your decision that you picked a great product. Which, if you're which you're taught to do the research, and you guys are, then, then you will be able to um, nail that anyway. So um, it's a it's a good question, Lee. But Leslie Francine is saying, is how important is the product description field? Um, Leslie, I had this discussion today. Um, but Dana, you want to answer that? You want to come in here, or how important? I actually don't think it's important, um, and the reason for that is I was talking to Lee about it's an old kind of trick inside the. Uh, I mean, I think it is important in terms of indexing and so on and so forth. But in terms of a buying decision, I think the buying decision is done inside the golden triangle, which is from top left across and down, where you actually see the the add to cart button. Because I level is buy level, and Amazon's page is completely structured and optimized. So that if you go up to the top left of the screen, 
uh, and down across right underneath the uh, anti cap button and then straight across, you'll find that all of the USPs are in that perimeter. And that really is where the buying decision is made, in my opinion. But yeah, if you get anything to add, feel free to jump in. That's, uh, he's 100% uh, right. And I've actually split tested this too. Um, description versus um, another description versus no description and really doesn't make a ton of difference uh, be time, because the time, by the time they get to the description they're so, they should be either so sold or so ready to find something else that the description doesn't really, really make that much of a difference but with the caveat of what Michael alluded to is uh, it does matter for indexing purposes so you do want to have it filled out it's just it's not going to make as much of a difference and there's not there's a, also a reason practically speaking, why I didn't go over the description in my presentation. So that should answer that for itself. But Michael did a fabulous job answering it. There's, there's one other thing that, there's, there's, if I can just uh, chime in here. Uh, there's, the description is used uh, by Google for the snippet. Yeah, for so Google the snippet. The first couple of lines of the description are important uh, if someone is searching, and the odds are, you know, you're not ranked on Google unless they're searching for your brand. Uh, but if you do get ranked on Google, the click through from Google and that conversion on that click will be important for the first sentence or two, which is what shows as the snippet. Uh, other than that, the description is just good for long tail indexing on Amazon. But the first line or two of the description uh, can get you clicks from Google if you are ranked there. Absolutely. And the other way around about that, or, or in conjunction or, or in, a, in alignment to, Susan, is question and answers having keyword heavy or, or phrase, um, phrase keywords, uh, phrase, phrase questions and phrase answers that are also search terms within the listing as well. That's a good for, way to. For rank, for rank, for rank, yes. 100%. So, and we're going to touch on this anyway, guys, but a brilliant question, Leslie. Um, and, and Susan is, is, is well, well in line with the snippets, Google snippets to get indexed. You do have to have um, text inside your, your description. So Susan, do we have any other questions that are here? I'm forgetting that you're, you, you're, um, that you're online. <laughs> and uh, you can... Except that my questions, the questions are lagging. I'm not, so I'm not necessarily seeing them all real time. Okay, so um, so Leslie says, cool, thanks, anyway, um, so uh, any other questions? So, um, if AZ changes its terms, so, so Des is saying, will it still be available, will it still be valuable if AZ changes, or Amazon changes its terms of services again? Des, I mean, Amazon, whilst we were coding the print on demand for the 100k hustle, Amazon changed, <laughs> so, I mean, <laughs> It just changes at, at will sometimes, and that's what created obviously the API issues for us to code around because they changed their entire documentation whilst we were coding. And I actually think somebody knows that we're just doing stuff, and they're like, "Devlin's in again. Let's let's just um, let's just start shit up." <laughs> it cost them more oh, money. <laughs> there's a, uh, Peter has a question about images. Uh, Peter, that's a good image. It's beyond the scope of this webinar, though. This webinar is about copy. Uh, we do have uh, another webinar uh, that's scheduled at some point. Uh, it'll be early this summer on um, the concept of the image stack, you know, uh, what you should have in terms of your main image and then how many lifestyle images, uh, that type thing. I think we're also going to have, uh, you know, a new, a new affiliate, a new friends, a friend of Michael's give some tips on how to take your own pictures. But that is beyond the scope of tonight's webby. Unfortunately, you know we can't cover everything. You know this isn't this isn't a webby on keywords. We we just did three of those. This isn't a webby on images. This is a webby on uh, on copy. And well, we did back copy. to back. We and I did one for an hour and a half as well. So that was four webinars with massive. If you don't if you don't be able if you can't understand keywords and 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 their and their importance in those four webinars collectively. I don't think there's anything left to understand for keywords in terms of what you need inside your listing and how to find. You know, there's nothing else that you can really add to that. Uh, the other question is uh, the, the, that I got earlier on, Susan was asking me about the conversion images. And just like Dana, you know, you can go with a smartphone and, and try this stuff yourself and set up your little light box with your white background and, and, and find 
some sort of dishcloth that's white that would look good on a camera and then edit that out. But the fact of the matter is, is that I would just leave everything to the professionals. If you're, if you're, if you really want to learn from the professionals, and, and I would, wouldn't leave anything to chance with my images in terms of converting. I will pay what I need to pay uh, to, in order to get that image correct. Same way as copy, I will learn and I will pay what I need to pay to learn from the best people in terms of copy. Uh, same for keywords as well. Luckily, you guys are in here, and this is all added as value to you guys. But ultimately, uh, we 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 are we we know, but we also don't want to be the only experts in the room. And that because we're not, we're all we're learning all the time. But we also want to reinforce what we know uh, and continue learning by bringing in people in our field who we know to be number one in in, in their in their particular field, and, and that is obviously copyright. We're going to be hearing. Um, in a couple of weeks from Joe. Uh, Joe is based out in Asia. He's obviously going to allow you to ship product directly to him. I think he's just looking forward to a lot of product, if you ask me. But he has got an amazing studio out there, and he's, and he's going to do some lifestyle images on the beach. You can tell him what you want. His his images, which, which he's going to showcase for you, are off the scale. And if you don't have the best images on Amazon after dealing with him, then there's something wrong with that as well. Um, you can always send them to Dana, and Dana will have his goat smuggle them for you. So I uh, don't want to invest in it. <laughs> yeah, that webinar in, in, in four weeks' time, we'll be we'll be modeling with the goats. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so we can make, make that happen. Absolutely. Um, so uh, let's see if there's any other questions here before we wrap up. So uh, Peter Tar says um, understood. Thank you. So I take it the questions were answered. So we don't have a lot of questions in in, in regards to. To, to the webinar, which we, which is good, but the copy, I think you absolutely nailed. And um, the example that you gave, I'm sorry if I came in too early. I didn't realise you were going to. It was part of your presentation, Dana. In terms of, um, you know, I, I felt I, I just was talking that something that I noticed with that listing that um, that particular seller was using their uh, their reviews to build out uh, the copy, uh, and yeah. obviously I didn't realize what the next slide was going to be. <laughs> yeah, no, that was perfect. That was brilliant. So, uh, guys, before we go, we are now uh, 27 minutes over the hour. Um, uh, can, does anybody else have any questions? Can I get a big uh, thank you to Dana for jumping on uh, the webinar to present this to you guys, to, to add massive value to you, to discount significantly a book that he sold for thousands of dollars, uh, to get all of his content out there. I mean, it's only um, available if you if you actually know and move in his circles as well. So uh, so we've got tons of thanks, Dana. You're an, an admin, and you can read all of these as well. Um, so uh, everybody is thanking you immensely. Myself and Susan, thank you immensely for coming on and giving value into our network. We appreciate you, buddy. Thank thank you. If we can do anything for you, as always, as you know, we're right here. Um, and ultimately, I just want to thank everybody, all the elite sellers, for joining us. Uh, and uh, tomorrow. Uh, we will get the, the recording back up. Susan, do you have anything to add to Dana? Uh, no, other than that I really appreciate him uh, him spending an hour and a half with us today, and I hope uh, you know people realize how how absolutely uh, how absolutely cool uh, cool this is uh, and the valuable information he has and how useful uh, you know having his uh, having his his book and his resources and his knowledge uh, can be in order to help you convert. Because conversion is what it's all about. It is, and it's not about selling a book. It's not, this is not what it's about. It's about the value. And you always have to have those. Susan, you'll know what I'm talking about. Those little golden nuggets. Those books that are all bent out of shape. And they've got the pages folded in the inside with little like scribbles on them. I, I've got tons of those books. And they're all marketing related, sadly enough. Um, my, 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 my Fifty Shades of Mike hasn't been written yet. I'll wait until I retire. And I'll write that. Um, but uh, you know, that was a joke, by the way. He's been, he's been, uh, I'm sure everybody's giggling, but I can't hear them because obviously it's virtual. <laughs> so, but anyway, the, the, the whole point I'm trying to make is, is when, when you are a marketer, you will have a series of books that that will be your, your reference books, and this is definitely one of those reference books that's highly recommended for me. Uh, I know that a lot of entrepreneur communities and, and stuff to have a, a little kind of treasure trove of books, this would definitely be one of them. Um, you know, Dynamic Psychology, The Power of Focus, and you've got Russell Brunson's Dotcom Secrets, you've got all of these books that are all, uh, I've got I've got hundreds of them and I'll give you a list, but this is definitely one of them guys. I'll put a link inside 
uh, inside the group for you to refer to and go ahead and grab your copy. And Susan, thanks very much for, for everything and, and staying up so so late or um, you know, not trouble with sleeping and then jumping on here. Um, so I appreciate it as always and I can't wait to you for you to get back and get rested so that we can get cracking with all those fun products you think. <laughs> Yeah, and then there'll be a, then there'll be another one. I mean, it's all it's just the cycle. It's just the cycle. <laughs> well, another one. Yeah. Yeah. Again, thank you, buddy. I appreciate it, and I'll catch you soon. Um, have a nice evening, everybody. Have a great weekend when it comes. And I'll catch you. I'll catch you later. Thanks very much. Cheers, Dana. Thanks, guys. I appreciate you.